Okay, this is my daughter uh, Shanvi and um, uh, I'm Debashi Sahu. We are going to show you how to uh, look at uh, public data and uh, find interesting uh, relationships. So we, we have discovered uh, two really interesting variables in this public data and uh, so I'm going to show you how to plot them in a simple scatter plot. So we have these two axes. So this is x axis and this is y axis. On the x axis, uh, we'll put one variable, and uh, the variable name is called uh, herb. And on the y axis, the variable name is called libu. Okay. So herb is on x axis, uh, and libu is on y axis. And the axis represents values that were derived from public data. And these are continuous variables, so the range of values that you have is from, uh, you know, a sad to happy, right? So it's a continuous variable from sad to happy, and we divide it into Boolean variables. One, we call it happy and not happy. So we divided this into four quadrants, and this side is happy, okay? And this side is not happy. And similarly for Libu, this is happy. And this is not happy. Okay? And when you look at these quadrants, there are four possibilities. But when you look at the public data, we found that it is possible to have or happy and Libu happy. So this is possible. And we also found that uh, it is possible to have herb not happy and libu happy. Okay, so this is also possible. And there are many situations where both are not happy. So that's, that's okay, that's possible. But we never find a situation where herb is happy and libu is unhappy. This is not possible. So what that means is that there is a significant Boolean relationship between herb and Libu, which is if herb is happy, then Libu is happy. We can write a Boolean formula, right? So herb happy implies Libu happy, okay? Yes. Why? You like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Like it. Yes. Do you like it?